anytime you unhook an encoder from the drive or from the motor, you're gonna you're gonna lose when you got absolute pulse motors. You're gonna lose uh, the reference. And on this one, it's gonna be pretty simple. Um, you hit the system key. I already have it at one. Offset, setting. You want to be an MDI. And you want to change parameter right to a one. So one input. Now parameter right on. I can hit um, cancel and reset. And get rid of that message. And then I go back system key right here system key I'm in my parameters I search 1815 so I typed in 1815 do not hit input when you're on this line you hit number search and it takes you to this and the reason when you unhook an encoder my a axis is not it's a zero instead of a one so this machine uses absolute pulse coders. That's 1815 bit four APZ is how you zero it. Uh, so it has APs, it has absolute pulse coders on X, Z, and the turret. So I'm just gonna make that a one input and it's gonna tell me power down. So I power it down. E stop it, power it down. And Harden says, oh, you got to power the main disconnect down and wait for a minute, whatever. You don't have to do that. But, so I'm going to just power it back up. So now I still have my parameter right enabled. Oh, it's telling me I still need to... What happened there? 1815. Oh, it didn't take it. Let me try this again. MDI, one, input. Let me go back to system to see if it took it. It did not take it. So in a case like this, what I do... I go over here, I make that one a zero. I come back over and I make this a one. And I go back and I make this a one. Hopefully that won't make that a zero again. And that time it did save it. So if you run into that, sometimes that's worse. So I'm gonna e-stop it, power it down. See if it saved it this time. And I intentionally put this turret at station one, which is when it's home, that's where it should be. Reset, cancel, get rid of that. Door switch. No alarm. So if I go back and look at 1815 system, I should watch. So you hit the system key, 1815, number search, and then save at that time. Just something I've learned over the years. Now, say this turret was not on station one. Say you were in the middle of an index and something happened. On, on these conquests, what you can do is hit, hit the e-stop button and then you're gonna hit 
reset e-stop and turret index at the same time. This one and this one. And if like my few fingers can reach, oh you look at that. What's gonna happen is it'll it'll every time I do that, it's gonna unclamp that turret. Once this is unclamped, so you leave the e-stop button in, you press the reset e-stop stop button and the turret index button, and you're gonna see this turret unclamped. This moves in and out. Then you can move it, this, uh, this X right here, you can put a six millimeter in here, and you can move this turret when it's unclamped. That or you can just put a pry bar in here. Right here is your, I can clamp and unclamp that with, with it in the e-stop right now. I just uh, move it this way. That detail right there. All that is, is a, it's just a huge dog to read that proc switch down in there. And that proc switch is made right now so I know it's clamped. So, and once again, if you can remember, this is the worm shaft. That does turn this so when that turret's unclamped in e-stop you can come in here and turn this you can move this to station one come back over here system and put that on station one and then change a axis a apz to zero and that's it rock and roll